Can I make a Juice World beat? She told me put my heart in the bag. Juice World took the world by storm with his catchy vocals, emotional lyrics, and the use of melody and guitar in his music. Yeah, Juice World took the world. It flows good. There's two worlds. One's juice, one's regular. You probably didn't know this, but he grew up in such a religious household that he wasn't actually allowed to listen to hip hop music. Although I'm sure he snuck some in. He was allowed to listen to pop and rock music like Blink-182, Fall Out Boy, Megadeth, and Panic at the Disco. I chime in with the heavens you people ever heard of. You can clearly hear these influences in his music. This brings me back to some of my emo days. <laughs> It wasn't long until Juice World started collaborating with the producer Nick Mira and released the hit track Lucid Dreams in 2018. Mira describes his production style as melodic, dynamic, and spaceships. <laughs> spaceships. Melodic, dynamic, and spacious. When you pair those elements with Juice World's influences, you create a perfect environment for some catchy music. Sadly, Juice World passed away on December 8th, 2019, but his music continues to live on forever, inspiring millions. Before this video, I spent a bunch of time listening to all of his music, really taking in the style and feel. And I found four common elements that really make up a Juice World production. Let's go through them. The first one is melody. Melody is king when it comes to Juice World productions. Obviously, there's the melody of the vocals, but the production itself always has a melody, usually on the guitar or the keys. Speaking of lucid dreams, that guitar melody is unforgettable. I mean, he did steal it from Sting, and Sting owns 80% of the song, but what Juice World wrote over top is timeless. And an honorable mention to the song Robbery for its piano melody. Man, what? <laughs> To get started with the melody on this beat, I actually found this chord progression that really inspired me and I'm going to start to write a melody over it. Check it out. It's got this really heavy sound. I don't think it's good for the intro, but I'm going to use it later on when the beat kicks in. Got my trusty Telecaster here. So the chords of the sample are B major, A sharp minor, D sharp minor, and F sharp major. So I'll try to come up with a melody around those chords. So I was thinking like... I want to use like those upper notes. And then Juice World always has those nice like guitar arpeggios in there as well. And then F sharp major. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so I'm going to record this in. So I have the melody recorded on the guitar, so I'm gonna try to figure that out on the piano. So now I have two different options to choose from. I could even keep both of them. They sound great together. Let me take a break from this section to ask you guys, Please subscribe, hit that button down below. Most of our viewers are actually not subscribed. If you subscribe to the channel, it helps us build it more and keep creating videos like this. Next up is the counter melody. Counter melody is like a contrasting melody that complements the original. A great example of this is the counter melody in his song, Wishing Well. It sits right under the melody and even complements it at some points. So what I'm going to do is browse through some of that collection I had up earlier and see if any of the sounds in there complement the melody that I just recorded. No. It kind of works. But I'm looking for something a bit less kind of... <laughs> Uh, let's try this one. Let's see if I can like half that. Oh, that's actually really nice. What I'm gonna do is just chop off the ending chord there and just loop the first half and see how that sounds. It 
-hmm. It's getting there. I want it to really sit underneath. So what I'm going to do is grab some effects and process it a little bit, maybe some reverb to bring it under the melody. So I'm going to grab effects voice and see if there's a reverb preset that I can just blend in. Next, I'm going to record a similar counter melody to the song Wishing Well. It's that single note palm muted guitar line. And uh, I'm going to have it sit underneath everything else and maybe only use it for the verses. I think something like that's really going to help give that pulsing energy that those Juice World songs have. The next element is synth bass. I noticed warm synth basses in tons of intros and verses of Juice World's tracks, and they often get replaced by an 808 in the chorus. His track Cigarettes actually features a synth bass throughout the whole thing and has a really heavy kick accompanying it. I'm gonna open up IK Multimedia's sample tank and see if I can find like a warm synth bass patch that I can use for the intro and the verse of this track. So I'm gonna select synth bass and then, ooh, there's a warm tag, okay. Let's try some of these and see if it fits. It's a bit too kind of plucky. How about this one? That's getting there. Let me uh, get rid of that. some of that attack. This is the one. I just took out the LFO that was opening and closing the filter. I want a nice steady sound. So I think I'm ready to record this one in. Where's that? Okay. There it is. in there and quantize it. Maybe I'll have it like kind of gliding down. Sounds so huge, nice. So now it's getting to the point where I could start adding some drums in just to give it that kind of pulse that it needs. Yeah, that's great. So I'm just going to drag that in and just start arranging the track a little bit before we move forward. So I'm just going to grab everything, copy it over. Like I don't want that palm muted in the intro. And then I'll even get rid of the guitar melody. So when the sub bass comes in, I just want that like four to the floor hi-hat. I don't want any of those rolls yet. So I'm just going to chop it actually like this. I'm just going to go like that and just keep copying and pasting it. And let's see how that sounds. That's great. And now I'll just add a rim shot. So 808, finally the 808. I found the 808 to be huge and right at the forefront of Juice World's production, like it's right next to his voice. He's just singing and the 808's just punching you in the gut. In the track, All Girls Are The Same, it's almost overtaking the vocals. So to stay true to that, I'm gonna look for the heaviest 808 sample I can find. That's good. That's a heavy 808. I've looked for hours. That's the heaviest sample I could find. If you can find a heavier one, let me know in the comments below and I'll use it instead of this one and I'll redo the whole video. The only thing I'm missing now for this chorus part is a clap and some percussion. So let me go and try to find a clap sample. I think I had one earlier, like this guy. Just record some of that. And then I'll put in some percussion. Let's see how this turns out. comes in, I have that piano. And actually, I kind of want to bring it like an octave up and see how that sounds. 
That's much better. So I think this beat is pretty much done. To finish it off, I'm gonna quickly arrange it as an intro, verse, and chorus. And as a bonus, I'm gonna put like an acapella of Juice World's vocals on it and see if it passes the test. Is it a Juice World beat? For the intro, I'm just gonna have that piano and the counter melody of the sampled guitar that I found. The verse comes in and I'll have the guitar melody and the palm meter guitar and the synth bass come in, along with just some like hi-hats going on the eighth notes. And then right before the chorus, I actually kind of want to create some tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the last two bars of everything except for the melody. And then right here, I'm actually going to put like a, a riser and it's going to go right into the chorus and then a crash right when the chorus hits. Ooh, ooh, that's huge. That's huge. And it sounds like that chorus has to repeat, so I'm just gonna copy everything that's there. And then one thing I wanted to do with that counter melody, I found this like free sidechain plugin. It's gonna add this pulse. And it's gonna add some bounce, check it out. But I don't want that playing through the whole thing, so I'm gonna automate it to be off for the intro. And by the way, if you see me using FL Studio really poorly, give me some tips in the comments because I'm learning how to use this. It's fine. I really like the workflow sometimes, but I know I could get better at it. So here we go. really adds that bounce, especially when it comes in, it's great. All right, this one's done. I got a quick mix and small arrangement going. And just for fun, I put the acapella of Juice World's track empty over top of this beat. Let me know in the comments, does it pass the test? Is this a Juice World beat? From the unknown 